guys, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be 10 healthy habits to start this year. So these habits are things that I've been incorporating in my lifestyle. Some of them I've just started, some of them I've been doing for years. And they're all really good things that you should incorporate in your lifestyle. So this isn't a video saying work out five times a week, eat this diet, blah, blah, blah. These are just some basic health habits that you should incorporate in your lifestyle to just improve your overall health and well-being. And by the time I upload this, it's probably gonna be in the middle of January, but that doesn't matter. If you wanna start any of these, you can start them now. It doesn't have to be January 1st to start a habit. Any day you can start this whenever you want. And even if you don't do it all the time, it's just something you should have in your lifestyle in general. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna mention, and I know when you hear this, you're gonna be like, oh, I know, but some people need to hear this out there. So the first thing is to make your bed every single day. Now you're probably thinking, why do I need to do that? I'm just too lazy. I'd rather just not make my bed in the morning. It's, it takes too much time. I feel like most people do make their beds, but I could be wrong. I've made my bed every day since probably ninth grade or eighth grade, I'd say. It's just a great way to just make you feel more put together. You know, your room looks 10 times cleaner. And let's say when you get back from school or you get back from work and your bed is not made and the blankets are all over the place, it just makes it a lot easier for you to be convinced to go back into your bed and take a nap. So when you make your bed in the morning, you feel more productive and it just lowers your chances of getting back into it throughout the day. And it just makes me feel more organized and like my life is a little more put together than it actually is. So if you are already making your bed, it's definitely a great habit to start. So the second one might not be as common, but for me, I really need to do this. And it is to improve your posture. Now for me, when I sit at my desk and I do schoolwork, I sit in the weirdest positions ever. And I don't do this in public. I don't even want to do it in public. But for some reason, when I'm home, I don't want to sit normally. I always sit at my desk in my chair with my legs crossed or I'll sit like this and do my type on my laptop or I'll just like have one leg up or something and that's so bad for your back and your legs and everything and obviously if you don't have good posture now when you're older you're gonna have more health problems and you're gonna be in more pain so basically my goal is to just try and not sit in weird positions when I do work and I find myself when I'm sitting in a position or whatever and I get up and I walk around I'm feeling so much pain in my lower back and in my knees from them being bent for so many hours and that is just so bad for your body so this is something I just want to work on I know that probably sounds really weird but maybe someone else out there needs to hear that now the third healthy habit to start is to get up earlier and by getting up earlier I don't mean get up at 6 a.m. every day but just try to get up a little bit earlier than you normally would every single day so for example even if it's just an hour if you get up at 10 a.m. regularly every single day maybe try to get up at 9 a.m. every single day and see how much better that makes you feel obviously when you're not getting enough sleep it's not gonna feel good but if you're getting enough sleep and you're able to get up at a decent time it just gives you so much more time in the day and you feel a lot more productive. For me personally, I wasn't a morning person for the longest time and I still don't really think I am, but if I sleep until like 11.30 or 12 or more, I feel so terrible the whole day. I feel like I just wasted a whole morning. I feel unproductive. So usually I get up around 9 or 10, which is pretty good for me. I'm in online school. I don't see the reason in getting up any earlier but getting up earlier especially if you're busy and you have a lot of things to do it just gives you a lot more time to just be more productive and get things done and it just sets you off on the right foot for the rest of the day in my opinion so number four is to not use your phone when you go to sleep and when you get up and you're probably thinking that is impossible but trust me you can do it so for the nighttime for example for me, I find myself on my phone literally till I can't keep my eyes open and that is just so bad for you. You shouldn't be on your phone with like with your eyes like when, right when you go to sleep because number one, if you get stuck on an app like TikTok, which is what I always get stuck on, you're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and next thing you know it's 3 o'clock in the morning. If you want to try and not use your phone before you go to sleep, definitely put it down maybe like 30 minutes before you plan to start falling asleep. And for the morning, I feel like not using your phone in the morning is more important than using it before sleep because when you use your phone in the morning, it just sets you on the wrong foot, I feel like. 
like when I, it's so easy and I obviously do this too, is when I wake up my alarm, I take my, I turn off my alarm and then I grab my phone and I'm already on social media checking everything, all my notifications that I got overnight and stuff like that. And then next thing you know, I'm on TikTok and then I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. And then next thing you know, I've been in bed for 45 minutes. So using your phone as soon as you get up in the morning, for me, it just feels like I just wasted a bunch of time and I feel lazy. But if you maybe try getting up in the morning, turning off your alarm on your phone and not looking at it, and then maybe go like wash your face, brush your teeth, have something to eat, do something, make your bed, do something and then grab your phone after because I feel like once you're on your phone in the morning, it kind of slows you down. And so my fourth point leads me into my fifth point, which is limiting your phone or electronic screen time. So obviously most of us are in some sort of quarantine or stay at home order. So using your phone or laptop or any electronics for the whole entire day is something that a lot of people do because they have nothing else to do. And that is just really bad for your overall health, your mental health, your even your eyes, so your physical health. It's being affected by using your phone and all day and just staring at a screen. So for me, I spend, I think my average this week was about seven hours of screen time and that's a lot of screen time per day. So for me, I'm trying to get it down to at least four hours a day for now and then if I'm good with that, I'll keep going lower and lower because I feel like, think about it, I just spent seven hours of my day on my phone and also too much time on social media isn't the greatest anyway. So the sixth habit is to go on daily walks and there's countless benefits to walking during the day. It's a stress reliever, it gives you amount, a good amount of exercise and physical activity for, for the day and it helps you avoid a sedentary lifestyle and if you don't know what sedentary means it basically means just like you spend your whole day not moving or on the couch all day and just basically not moving your body the whole day you know just walking like to your room to the kitchen and back i also feel like going on walks is like a grill a really good stress reliever i would say you know if you're doing homework or whatever and you just take like a 15 minute break and go on a walk around your block or something it'll make you feel a lot better where i live there's a lot of like trails and stuff so i love to go on hikes and it's just so fun for me and it's a great way to exercise if you don't like doing like really hard workouts and if you can't go on a walk every day let's say the weather is bad just try to be active in your house throughout the day and i don't mean doing a full hit exercise and cardio and everything you know just do like walk around your house like for me i like to just do handstands for fun any type of physical activity is great for your health which kind of leads me into my seventh point which is working out or being more active so by that i don't mean do a crazy workout every single day i mean this is different for everyone some people feel that they have to lose weight some people want to gain weight for me personally i want to gain more muscle i love my body the way it is but i know that i could be stronger and i want to be able to do like pull ups and stuff like that so for me i'm really trying to work out and develop more strength but even just not even working out, just being more active, like I said, doing daily walks or like if you play a sport, just being active and practicing your sport throughout the day or a few times a week. But yeah, working out and being active in your lifestyle is really important and I think it's something that everyone should incorporate into their lives if they don't already. So number eight is doing self-care nights every week once a week or every two weeks if you're a little bit busier. So it's really important to dedicate some time for yourself, no matter how busy you get. It's really important to just dedicate a certain amount of time, maybe once a week, twice a week, or maybe once every two weeks, just for yourself to do whatever you want. So for me, I like to do self-care. So that's either like putting a face mask on, doing like having a bath and doing a bath bomb or anything like that. And it doesn't even need to be self-care. It could just be dedicating a certain amount of time during the week to do something that you enjoy. And doing something like that, having something to look forward to during the week is just gonna make you a lot happier. So the ninth thing is to try more recipes. For me, I have so many recipes on my TikTok that I've saved of like smoothie bowls and breakfast because I've been eating the same breakfast for the past 10 years and just like, some lunches and just like things that I want to try and cook. So definitely I've been trying to make more food and try more meals and experiment 
and just like broaden my horizon with food because when I was little I was really picky with food. I'm not really that picky anymore. I eat most things but I have all these recipes I want to try and incorporate and trying new recipes is great in general because it just gives you another idea to make for your lunch or something like that. And also recently we just bought an air fryer so I'm definitely excited to try and make things out of there and I've heard that they're really healthy like obviously air frying is better than deep frying with like oil and stuff so I'm really excited to try to cook more things with that. And the last healthy habit to start in 2021, this isn't really healthy, but it's just like something to do that will make you happier. And that is making a memory jar for the year. So it doesn't have to be a jar necessarily. It could just be a note on your notes app or you could just write it in a notebook or something. So basically you just have a jar or whatever you choose and you just write down everything good that's happened to you you know, during the day. It doesn't need to be something crazy that happens like once in a blue moon, just like daily occurrences that made your day or made you happy. Like for example, you can write down that, you know, someone in the drive-thru at Starbucks paid for your order or any like just good things that happen to you. And then at the end of the year, you can open the jar or whatever and just read all the good things that happened to you in the year and all the good memories and things that you made and it just helps you remember the little things in life because that's what truly matters. So that's all I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope you took something from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the notifications and I really hope you guys are having a great year so far. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! What? I'm filming. Looks <laughs> crazy to my next. <laughs> Get out! It's not my train of thought. Can you stop? Really? Seriously. <laughs>